Okay, well we're at the village of Tottenham, just south of Bedford. Um, if you, again, if you're into your butterflies, you'll know Tottenham and the Tottenham Knolls site. That's K N O L L S, Tottenham Knolls. Again, it's got a limestone chalk quarrying background. It's now a great place for walkers, dog walkers, people into all sorts of uh, natural pursuits, particularly butterflies. Never come here for orchids before, but I've seen photographs on the internet of orchids attributed to Totano, so I thought as I'm driving through this area, I'm going to pop in and have a look. I'm going to make my way to a corner of this site, um, which I know used to be a chalk pit, and uh, that'll be the start really, because I think if there's orchids here, that's where they're going to be. So if I say anything on the way, I'll shout, otherwise I'll see you when I get there. Well, the uh, footpath just opened up into something a lot more, uh, yeah, a lot more interesting, a lot more promising. So I think I'm getting close to where I was heading. Looks a bit more orchidy around here. It's interesting. Yeah, the long grass looked good, but it was long grass. Uh, orchids don't like long grass as a rule. Full of butterflies, lots of butterflies, uh, but no orchids. Uh, not even a butterfly orchid. See what I did there? I managed to climb to the top of the mountain somehow. I, I have a feeling, I'm trying to find this area that used to be a chalk pit and I, I think it's down there. Um, it's quite a long way down there. But I think that's probably where I need to be heading. Not seeing anything anywhere at the moment, so I'm clearly in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna clamber down and see what's going on down here. Well, you can see under the grass is definitely chalky. Uh, underfoot so yeah the environment's right you can see in the background here we're starting to pick up some orchids so yeah I think we're getting we're getting a bit warmer now I was going to say Tottenham had started with a bang with a white common spotted orchid but I think it's just some very 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 faint markings at the top of the flower so I won't claim it as a white but it's a nice one pretty close. A common tway blade growing on the slope, steep slope as well. I've clambered down that hill now and uh, yeah, there's orchids growing on the bank. Um, th th this place is, uh, it's so much barnock hills and holes, it's unbelievable. Uh, exactly the same sort of terrain of mounds and hollows, orchids growing in the hollows. Um, nothing spectacular yet, it's a lovely place. 
keep bumping into foxes, deers, uh, sorry deer, um, and there's plenty of orchids here. Uh, just nothing too eye-catching yet, but I've got a sense there might be something lurking, so I'm going to keep looking. Uh, but it's a nice place, yeah, it's good. A nice punchy coloured uh, common spotted orchid. Not many of these, they're mostly very pale, close to white. But this one's got a bit more attitude. Nicely marked pyramidal orchid. Right, we'll come through the other side of this uh, lumpy and bumpy part of uh, Tottenham Knolls. I think this is what's known as Little Hills. Uh, there's quite a few markers in here for plants that obviously have gone over now, like musk orchid, which I've never seen before. Uh, the musk orchids are finished. Uh, well, I've seen the cages where they were protected and they grow in the Little Hills element of Totano, so that's clearly what I've just walked through. Full of orchids, um, and, and I guess at this time of year you're not going to see anything too outstanding, but uh, yeah, full of orchids. Nice, peaceful, quiet, sunny. It's uh, sort of glorified Barnack Hills and Holes, really. So, uh, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to walk out of this part of uh, Totano and uh, walk around by the uh, where I know there's chalk cliffs when I've come butterfly hunting and see if there's any orchids uh, happening down there. But yeah, nice place. These are the uh, extremely white limestone cliffs, limestone chalk, whatever, at Totano. Uh, this is where I was heading to see whether there was anything happening. Unfortunately, it's all barbed wired off, but I'm going to walk right around what must have been a huge quarry at one point in time and uh, do a circular walk around this path. And you never know, there might be something along the way. It looks too good to. Uh, not check it out. Just to prove there are orchids at the foot of these uh, white cliffs of Totano. Nothing exciting. Uh, just common spotted, but yeah, might be something else along the path. Uh, this is an interesting part of uh, Totano. Nothing too much going on orchid wise at the moment, but. These uh, mounds, this would be what Barnack Hills and Holes probably would have looked like many hundreds of years ago when it had just finished as a quarry and before the grass had capped it over and created what we know today. Uh, it's a similar sort of landscape but many hundred years behind Barnack. golden rule of doing circular walks is to make sure you can do the circle. Uh, you don't want to be going halfway around a circle and find that you can't actually complete it and you've got to then walk back a mile and a half along the route you've already walked along. But the smart ass here has just done that so bring a map. Recommendation, bring a map. Don't be a nutter like me. So now I'm walking back. I just hope there's a reward for this somewhere along the route. Well, this was the uh, this was the side of Tottenhall that I was uh, trying to make a circular route around to. Uh, this is the part that I've been be been to before, a couple of years ago, chasing butterflies, and I remember this sort of grassy scree at the bottom of uh, at the bottom of the cliffs. Uh, and I figured on the way over it must be good for orchids, and uh, it's not. It's not. Um, I've seen about two common spotted, and that's it. Uh, this place should be loaded with, with orchids really and I have no doubt it will be. Um, my theory is it's just too young in the evolution from what it was to what it will become once it's become completely grassed over. Um, I think it will be a great orchid site but not in my lifetime. I think it's just uh, too young a site but uh, it should be good. It just isn't so that's it I think for Tottenham. I must have walked about five miles so didn't really get much of a return. Definitely will come back um, to the Little Hills part of the reserve. I saw enough there to tell me that that's worth seeing. Um, 
I'm, I'm hunked earlier than this, so I need to get over in June and, and check that place out. There's definitely going to be some stuff there um, worth capturing, including musk orchid, which I've never seen before. But I now know it is in that section that I will find those because the markers are still there from from where the warden has, uh, has, has made a note of them. So definitely be coming back, but it'll be focused on that one section rather than wandering around these uh, cliffs even in about 50, 60 more years, I think. So yeah, I've got a crack on that. <laughs>